97.9 The Box, it's the Mad Hatter. Morning Show! And celebrity event planner, Veronica Horn, is in the building this morning. Yeah! About the, hall weekend. the Hall Weekend is associated with Drake, so you know it's going to be a lot of craziness. And JQ had told us that there was no Hall Weekend going on. Miss Horn, so what happened? Yeah, you know, it was saying, you know, we had Summer 16 tour coming, you know, it was some events playing around. So, you know, I heard different people say, yeah, he gonna be so busy, he he might not, you know, want to do the holiday. And all of a sudden, yesterday, I get the get the, the emergency, how going down? So tell us all about it. Um, so they've been planning hard probably for the past six months. Wow. But typically we have to keep it under wraps to ensure that we maintain the privacy of the event for different things that are not open to the public. Oh, okay. So that makes sense. So we knew the concert was happening and it was on a long weekend and typically, you know, he scheduled some time when he's here in Houston to kind of rest a little bit. Mm -hmm. This time we won't be doing any resting. So we'll be making sure that we capitalize on every single day that he's here. Most of that we'll be doing, uh, he'll be over at the pop-up shop, he'll have some parties in the daytime and the evening time. He'll have some um, community events that are happening that are closed off to the public that we did um, find volunteers for that we probably will, be, will have people over at Warehouse Live for the division concert. So that's why that was dropped at the last minute because oh. that was the incentive. Whereas the last time we had volunteers and we did it publicly, mm -hmm. we had a ton of people lined up outside of Warehouse that did not, that was not able to get in. So we didn't want to do that this time. Okay, okay, okay. So how hard is it for you to put these kind of events on, especially for artists of this magnitude? It, it's actually not hard now. It's just hard trying to get them on the phone for them to tell me what they want to do. So we can typically create, you know, an agenda and that agenda will be in place and then it'll change at the last hour. So <laughs> like everything that we had in place yesterday, as of yesterday that was released to the public, then changed. So oh, wow. Okay. Man. So do we need to get a rundown of No. No. no, 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 no. <laughs> it's a new rundown okay. coming out okay, today. So okay, no. so where can they go? Is there at least a place they can go to get the information so they can participate in whatever the hall weekend will be? Yeah, so they can go to hall 2016com I think it is. Or I'm sorry, hall summer 16com to find tickets to the parties. Obviously the concert is sold out and then they're more than welcome to go over to the pop-up shop which will be open until tomorrow. Okay, so only one more day for the pop-up. Uh, they want to get details. Go give me the website again. HawSummer16.com Now, Veronica, this of course is not your only thing worrying about what Drake got going on this weekend. I just, I'm just curious, how does one get into be, how does one get to be a celebrity event planner? Is that something that you just fall into because you just know everybody or is this something, you know, when I grow up I want to be, I want to, you know, create events and, and, and market and all that kind of stuff? Well, by trade, I'm a finance girl. Okay. I just happened to start doing events because it was something that I actually liked mm -hmm. and how I got the Drake opportunity was um, from a gentleman named Mel Smith. Um, uh, you all may be familiar with him and so he was like, hey, I think that you can handle this, why don't you give it a shot? And I was like, okay, well, let's do it. And when I did that, I established the relationship with Drake and the whole team. And every single year when they come back, they're like, hey, let's do it. You're that point person yeah. now. <laughs> well, good luck. So this is probably, did you get sleep already? I have not. Okay, okay so there will be no sleeping for you until Tuesday. Tuesday. Yes. Well, good luck. You. Make sure you got your lot of uh, coffee around. So it will, is it a certain time today to revise the itinerary be released to the public or is you just said go to the website, huh? No, um, what I have, why don't you guys watch Drake's Instagram and then he oh. will post it. Oh! Ooh. Okay. Inside key! <laughs> <laughs> we watch now. <laughs> Drizzy, hallsummer16.com. We watch it, baby. All right, so. It'll be a long weekend for a pimp. Veronica, thank you very much for coming up here and giving us the information and having your hype man come along. With you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you all for having me. Thank you very much, JQ. You had a Jimbo and <laughs> Extra special thanks to the hype man. Over there. <laughs> I don't know what y'all give him every morning. Uh, that's what he gets off the street himself, man. <laughs> He pops them before he gets on the show. We've had many interventions. Trust us. Yeah. You missed him. Someday.